Good morning to all. I welcome you all to this didactic program. Thirukkurlood Naam Attending in fact with a noble desire to reach the seat of grace in life by practicing the ethical values of Thiruvalluvar. Couplet number 1070 Shapt Shem Socrates was the greatest of all philosophers in Greek. Whenever he met the people, he would teach self-discipline, clarity on thoughts, good discipline, compassion, obedience, control over sensory feelings and honesty. He declared that the above traits were the key to success. He pointed out the importance of clean heart and clean mind. He called upon the people to live their lives in a disciplined way. Youths in the country were attracted towards his teachings and many remained around him at all times. It was alleged that Socrates was misguiding the youths and thereby conspiring against the Athens government. The court of Athens awarded death sentence to Socrates. He was imprisoned to carry out the sentence. During imprisonment, his disciples used to meet him. They insisted that he should not be sentenced to death. and he should escape from the captivity and that they would help him in this regard hearing this socrates laughed at them his sixth sense did not permit him to escape from the prison he was confident that one who followed the rule of law could alone be a good citizen if he escaped from the prison fearing for death sentence then the world will come in that socrates was afraid of death sentence such kind of abuse would ever remain and would bring bad repute to him so he told his disciples that he was happy to accept the death sentence rather than living being blamed by the world as a coward as he refused the request of disciples they returned with a heavy heart the day has come and socrates was offered a poison drink he drank the juice and died people who are familiar with the principles will live in accordance with the principles and in order to prevent them from deviating from the principles stand taken they may even prepare to die instead of living with the blame our saint tamil poet tiruvalluvar explains about this in tirukkural as follows naanal uirai thuratpar uir poruttal naan thuravar naanal bavar i recite நன்றி வணக்கம்